Hey everyone, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy and this is Tutorial Tuesday. Today I am using the Sky's the Limit gorgeous collection that we got from Bargain Beadbox that I unboxed yesterday. And I thought uh, as a change of pace, instead of doing some earrings, we would do a very simple bracelet today. I love these links that came in the kit. And of course the beautiful dyed quartz and the adorable little bird beads. So these are a couple little dangles I made with the, with the cloud and the bird, which we're gonna put on the end of our bracelet. And then I thought we would use the toggle clasps and just put this together with some very simple loops. I've already started the middle of the bracelet. I just did simple loops, which I will show you. And then I use these gorgeous links. And then I love this crystal with those facets. And I used a couple of the bicones and of course the bead caps. So this is gonna be the center of the bracelet. Now I have pretty big wrist. And so seven and a half inches works for me. So I've just laid this out how I think it's gonna go. And I may have to do a little bit of adjusting uh, in the meantime, I did cut some two inch pieces for my connectors with some artistic wire, 20 gauge. This is antique brass. I know that the findings are antique copper. I didn't have any antique copper uh, wire, but this is very similar in color. I've already used it here. And as you can tell, you can't really tell the difference. So basically we're just gonna do some very simple loops attach these, the rest of these really pretty filigree components and attach our toggle clasp and then we'll do some little dangles and have hopefully a very cute bracelet. So let me just get started here. So the first thing you're gonna do, of course, is take your, your two inch piece of wire and you're gonna just come in and make a 90 degree angle like this. And then you're gonna put your bead on. Actually, I think I wanna do a bead cap on that. These bead caps are very pretty. Oops. <laughs> and hang on to them, cause they'll slide off, of course. I do love this quartz, I think it's gorgeous. Okay, now then, we're just gonna do a simple loop. So with our 90 degree angle, you need about a quarter of an inch here. So let me come in and cut some of this. Better to have a little more than you need than not enough, of course. You're gonna come in with your round nose pliers and you're just going to Walk this back till you make a loop. Let's do the other side. Bend at a 90 degree angle. This is very soft, this 20 gauge wire. It's very nice to do this technique with. It's not a hard wire to work with at all. Gonna walk this back. I've started putting the bracelet together as I go, and that's up to you. You can make all your components and then put it together. But since I'm not sure how this is gonna go as far as the length, I'm gonna do it as I'm working on it so that I don't make it too long. So I'm hoping to be able to add these at the end, this crystal bead, this bicone, and these really pretty crystals, but I obviously I don't wanna make my bracelet too long. So I'm gonna attach this guy now on this side. So we're just gonna open it like we would a jump ring and slide our component on. I do love these components. I think they have them in other finishes too. I believe I've seen them in silver. 
and then we're gonna attach the next one this is a very simple bracelet but i think it'll be very pretty pretty doesn't have to be complicated very nice all right, let's do the other side. So again, we're gonna come in and bend at a 90 degree angle. Attach our bead, hang on so they don't go flying off. We're gonna cut a quarter of an inch. Walk this back. If you have one of those looper gizmos, this would be a good project. Um, I think I have one somewhere, but I always end up cracking beads with it. So I'm old school when it comes to doing my loops. I guess I need to practice more with it. Okay, and if you need to hold on with your flat nose pliers when you do your other 90 degree bend, definitely go for it. Let's see if this is going to cooperate. <laughs> Remember when I said I was all thumbs the other day? I think I'm still afflicted a little bit. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. I do need to eat dinner. Maybe I'm just low on the blood sugar. I want you to know, I, I didn't realize, and I, yesterday when I did our unboxing for the bargain bead box, that was my 101st video. So I've already done 100 videos, which I cannot, I cannot believe that. That went by fast. So if you've been on the journey with me for this whole time, thank you. We've been, we're into it a hundred videos already. And I've only been at this since June, so not quite a year yet. If you're just joining me, if you have not subscribed, I'd love to have you. I am trying to grow the channel. And uh, I'm really having a blast. And I love that I am inspiring everybody, all of you that men mention it makes me very happy. That looks really pretty. I'm going to just test it out here. That's going to be very nice. So let's see. I think we can certainly add these. So let's continue making our components. Now on these, I'm not gonna put a bead. Well, maybe I will. I think I'll do the crystal first though. These are so little, it's hard to see where the holes are. There we go. They sure are sparkly though. They're tiny, but they're sparkly. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need jump rings, so I just pulled them out. We'll see how that goes. If we need to get give some more room at the ends, then we can use the jump rings to kind of add add some length if we need to. Okay. Walk that back. This is just all wrist. Boy, this wire is very, very soft. You could probably do, uh, this is 20 gauge. You probably could do 18 gauge. Um, try it. Uh, sometimes the 18 gauge on the little beads, you can't get the beads on that wire very, you know, depending on how big the holes are drilled. But if the 20 gauge is too soft, by all means, or see if you can do the 18 gauge. 
I've decided I need to reinvest in my wire stash. I'm going through it like crazy. All my projects. Okay. So let's add this to the end. Just gonna open that just slightly and slide our component. Whoops. Does need to be open, I think, just a tad more. There we go. I don't know about you, but I love this this bargain bead box that we got this month. Yeah, looking good, looking good. I love all these blues, look at that. I got it all organized. And I always use a little label, label maker. That way I don't lose sight of my kits. Cause I have quite a few of them. I get these uh, containers on Amazon they come in a six pack. I'll put the link in my description. Um, and the little, these little guys come out, the little center pieces, so you can make it fit, you know, bigger objects, which is nice. Okay, back to our component. Let's see if we can find the hole on that little, those beads are tiny, but they sure are pretty. And I love, I love these cloud beads. I just love those. Those are gonna be cute dangling on the end of these, I think. Okay. And I'm keeping this out for inspiration because I just love it. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. So. Sometimes I like to keep things out in little dishes or trays or just next to me um, so I can think about it, ruminate on it. Just part of my method, method to my madness. Okay. Make another loop. I think I'm going to cut just a tiny bit of that off there. Yeah, if you have one of those looper tools, I think this would be a good project. All right, boy, that is really soft wire. Okay, let's add this guy. Then I'll test it on my wrist again. Not quite getting those open enough. There we go. And your loops don't have to be perfect. Just make sure they're closed. Okay. So let me test this again. You don't want it super tight, but it looks like this is gonna be plenty of room. So let's add our toggles. I'm gonna add the toggle. doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Now for this side, I did learn this from, uh, I'm trying to think who I learned this from. I think Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique so that it's easier to thread your toggle piece through this piece. She recommends using about three jump rings so that it'll slide through there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. We're gonna, let's attach these three together. This is also antique brass. I'm just gonna add these. 
one at a time. If we need to, we can always add more too. You know, if you, this is what I'm talking about when you are trying to adjust for your wrist size. You can add more jump rings. You can even add a little, little bit of chain if you want. That's up to you. Okay, now let's add our toggle. That's the wonderful thing about getting so many of these components. I've got enough left. I can do some earrings to match this as well. All right. So then when you put it on, see this, now this slides through. And I do want to add our dangles. I think I'm going to add them to the, let's see, where do I want to add those? I think on the end here by the toggle. So, let me grab another jump ring. Oh, let me wire wrap this one first. This is one of those little birdies, so precious. Get a lot of those in this kit too, so plenty for earrings and whatnot, a necklace, anything that you wanted to coordinate with this, of course. I'm just doing some messy wraps. These are <laughs> these uh, head pins that I have, look at these. They are a hot mess. You see how tangled they look? Uh, but I wanted the ball end for the dangles, so I just sat and straightened a few of them. I mean, they're they're fine, but they they came to me pretty mangled. <laughs> Something to do when you're in front of the TV trying to get your stash organized, straining out your head pins. Okay. So I think really, I like odd numbers. So I have two dangles here. I think I'm going to make one more. Um, odd numbers always look visually more interesting. Maybe I'll just do, you know, maybe I'll do this pretty... Maybe a mazonite bead would be, I don't have any. Oh. This one's kind of blue, green blue. That's pretty. And I think I'll do some more bead caps on that. Another little dangle. I like to vary the lengths of my dangles also. That's just something I do. It's not not necessary, but then they hang kind of at different angles and different trajectories when you're wearing it, if that makes any sense. Let me just tuck this end in. Cute little mazonite drop. So now I'm gonna take, I think maybe they all will fit on one, one jump ring, let's see. Hope everybody's doing well. Can't believe tomorrow is the middle of the week already. Nope, I think I'm gonna do separate ones. I think I'm gonna attach one to the actual toggle. I 
You could also attach them along here. That'd be cute. I was thinking about doing the birdies like all down here. That's an idea, a variation, if you will. Definitely, if you decide to do this, give it a try, make it your own. Make many dangles and add them all over if you want. This is just, you know, an idea in its simplest form here. Oops, come back here, Mr. Dangle. Add you. Ooh, almost lost those pliers. <laughs> like I said, I am like all thumbs lately. And one more. I managed to catch it though. That was a good save. These little birdies are so cute. Very cute. There. Let me see if I can get this. I have trouble with toggles. I usually need help, but let's see. Let's see if I can finagle that on camera. No pressure. <laughs> there we go. See what I mean by the, those help pull your toggle through? And there's your dangles. So you know how your bracelets spin around. If that happens, you've just got some eye candy right there. That turned out very nice, I think. I love it. And I think some earrings to match would be awesome. And like I said, I've got, let's see, a lot more of these guys to make earrings. And, uh, oh yeah, here's some more. So look, you could make you could make a uh, bracelet for yourself and your bestie or your sister or your mom or a favorite aunt. I think that turned out very nice. Thanks for watching and joining me today for this fun, very simple project with the new beads from Bargain Bead Box, The Sky's the Limit. Can't wait to make some more things with it. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you'll try this. If you do, let me know. If you decide to do a variation, that would be very cool. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and your families. I know the world's a little bit crazy right now. Everybody's praying for peace. I am too. And let's just all keep praying together and making beautiful things sharing our passion with each other and trying to make this world somewhat better for all, I hope. That's my hope. Anyway, thanks so much. I, I do appreciate all of you. And those of you who have not subscribed, I'd love to have you. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I can't believe it's been 100 videos. That makes me, I'm pretty amazed by that myself. And stay tuned to see what I'm going to do with this. Very, very cool component right here. I have ideas. So that might be a tutorial for next week. So stay tuned. Anyway, take care of yourselves again. And I will see you on the next video.